Hey everybody, it's Kelly and Sophie Doyle. Today I'm doing a really quick uh, information session message something or other on um, bathing, bathing while on the road. Now I have heard the haters and really wacko people who just have hate for anyone who's not like themselves uh, talking about those filthy van dwellers and this and that and the truth of the matter the truth of the matter is this you do not need 30 gallons of water to have practice good hygiene healthy hygiene to stay clean you don't need 60 gallons of water we were fed that information guess when that started that started when soaps and the shampoo industry uh, again look up um, Edward Barnes he was like the grandfather or something of propaganda and uh, he spells out how we need to control and tell the people what to do in a democracy because they're not intelligent enough to make their own decisions um, so he started this and he's the one that told us to eat bacon and eggs he's the one that told us to for women to smoke cigarettes and on and on and on check him out and check his book about propaganda um, and they changed it to um, public relations they changed the term propaganda to public relations so the stuff I'm going to tell I'm telling you and I'm going to tell you in a minute this is um is based in fact it's not a conspiracy theory um and it's in black and white oh there's someone I'm in a parking lot stealth hang on we're stealthing right now <laughs> I'm getting better at this I might do my first neighborhood soon I don't think anyone knows because I look like a minivan, soccer mom minivan. All right, they're gone. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna about to tell you, it's all based in fact. There's books written about it. There's studies written about it. So what I'm gonna tell you is that we have been programmed and brainwashed that you need to wash your hair every day with shampoo, lather, rinse, and repeat so they can sell more product. And that's really where it came from. I know there's people out there going to say, oh, that's conspiracy. The thing is, if you do your own research, you do your own independent research. If you spend some time and you can find information online now and see documents about Edward Bernays and how he started this whole thing and how commercials went from just talking about oh you know my wipes have these ingredients blah 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 to uh, these wipes are gonna get you a lover these wipes are gonna blow your mind you're gonna need a cigarette after these wipes because they're orgasmic you know it went from just advertising the whole history of advertising so the point is, we don't need 30 to 60 gallons of water to have proper hygiene, and these are facts, okay? So see, my hair is a little wet. I just washed my hair. Oh, wait, hang on. It actually, hmm, let's take some pictures today. It's not bad today. Um, we're going to, uh, I just washed my hair and my body in a minivan, stealth camping. Uh, and I'll show you real quick how much water I use to be completely clean. The second point is that it's actually, if you do more research, it's actually unhealthy. I repeat, it's actually unhealthy to scrub the back natural bacteria and oils off your body every day. It is healthier to leave them on and not wipe them off with these harsh chemicals and soaps daily you still bathe your body but you bathe the parts that need bathing you bathe the parts that need attention um that is a fact it's a medical fact and you can google that as well i should do links but as some of you know with a tbi um i get behind it takes me long enough to do the videos, but I could do some link. But you could Google. I mean, you guys, come on. I don't need to show you. Do your own research, really. Like, people are like, can you show me a link? It's 
like, do your own research. You want me to do everything for you? Want me to put on your diapers? Come on. You have a brain, go use it, get on. This is not to you, my friends, but to the haters. Um, so the first point is the propaganda. That's why we're conditioned to think, oh, we need to like scrub every inch of our body every day. No, not only no, but it's bad for you. And the second point is, no, that was the second point. The first point is advertising industry telling us to do it. The second point is it's not even healthy. All right, so real quickly, this is how much water I use to bathe people. That's all I needed. So I covered my paper towels. I washed my right hair right here. And this is pretty much what I use to, that's hers. This is Sophie's toothbrush and toothpaste in her necklace. Uh, I use a combination of my Helio Pressure Shower, which I still need to do a review on. I love this. One of my tops. One of my definitely top products. The Helio Pressure Shower. I will put a link. And if you uh, check it out through Amazon, through my link, and you buy anything, I do. I will get a percentage, a very small, very small percentage. But, um, and I am. I mean, I'll be honest. A part of... YouTube for me is to get back on my feet financially because you'd be surprised at how many people don't hire you if there's days when you can't put your underwear on. All right. Okay, so um, I do a combination of, well, it's, I get to pressurize it. So it's got usually good pressure using this for my hair. And sometimes I also fill up my squirt bottle. So I will use this as a faucet for certain things when needed. Like I'll just wet my face cloth with this sometimes. Or sometimes I'll use this and I'll fill it to boil water to bathe. So some days I'll bathe with a washcloth and soap and hot water, uh, sometimes cool water. And then I mix it up. Sometimes I do the wipes. I know everybody talks about the wipes. Um, I do, I'm very sensitive to chemicals, uh, so I do the chemical free type. So I do a mixture of, some days I'll use wipes for the parts of the body that need cleaning. I'll alternate that with soap and water, because you do want to conserve water when you want to be out for a long time, 12, 14 days or longer. And then you can use this, and then this for the dishes also, the vinegar and water. And then I've seen people, you and I do have a sink with a drain, very simple. I do need to do my video on this. Uh, this is a product I highly recommend. I did get it on Amazon, I'll put a link on this. This is the collapsible, well, let's see, collapsible bucket. So that folds down, I can tuck this in anywhere I want really so before I had that what I did was I would dump the water directly into a one gallon empty one gallon container or any kind of container you have so that's how you do it you wash your hair you get a bucket get a folding bucket you guys you know they're not cheap or this one wasn't but it's a high quality I've had it for eight months I use it all the time for everything and not no problems whatsoever. I've also people seen people even use a water bottle. Squirt it. And I mean, you can use that as, as a faucet. So think outside the box. Get creative. And you can have good hygiene even in a minivan. Even in a minivan. Um, thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions... Go ahead and put comments down below. Sometimes um, I do get delayed, but I do read every comment. Put comment down below if you have any other really, I would love to hear other ways to stay clean and nice smelling like a fresh as a flower in a minivan on the road with a little bit of water, trying to conserve water. Thank you very much. I'm Kelly Doyle. This is so funny. You gotta say hi. Hi, Odie. She's like, you keep saying that we're gonna go. That's Sophie Doyle. Good girl. Yeah. Oh, I love you, Oni. Oh, you the apple of my eye. You the beat of my heart. Your baby's cute. She wasn't even my type at first, and it grew on me. She grew on me. Oh, thank you, baby.
Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. And if you only do one thing today, follow your bliss.